There's been an explosion in the social media space. And this is what's happening in the social business space. There's thousands of technology vendors, consultants, millions of different deployments that are happening, and a lot of content and data that's happening. Just to give you some example on scope, I'm not here to talk about Facebook valuation. I'm here to tell you about how corporations will spend on social business. That is my primary focus as an industry analyst on social business. And right now, what I see as the future is corporations will invest in what's called the social business stack. And I'm going to walk you through what this particular ecosystem looks like. Uh, everybody's different. Each 220 of you are all very different. And we're seeing all of these things grow in the social space. All these individual companies are emerging. Well, there's a challenge, though, in the social business space. As Bob talked about, this roller coaster, uh, we get so excited with all these social media technologies. We see one company invest in a Twitter management system. Then we need one. And then, and then the next investor says, we need that too. And then what happens? We have funded the clones. So what should we do? Well, I took those thousands of vendors, and I tried to segment them into an organized way. And I found that this is what emerged. This is the social business stack. There's seven major categories. And then there's 18 specific types of companies that you can invest in inside of this stack. Let me walk you through it. This is our ecosystem. So at the very top, this is the social networks. Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, Zynga, Mixi in Japan, Tencent QQ in China. The list goes on and on and on. These are emerging at a rapid pace. And you can tell by this diagram that there's so many different ones because you can see the different dots out there. And more of them will appear over time. So moving forward, this next space is called the monitoring and analytics category. And there's two types of companies to invest in in this space. Let me break it down for you. Now imagine you're in your corporate marketing department and customers are talking about you in the social web. You need to understand what they're saying, the sentiment of what they're saying, and the share of voice that they're saying it in competition of the share of voice with your competitors. Now let me tell you about these vendors. It's a mess. It is completely saturated. There are 150 brand monitoring companies, according to Ernst & Young, uh, today. Now, that's a saturated space, and that might be an area towards uh, later stage investment. I'm going to show you the deal sizes uh, midway through the presentation, so you'll see actual numbers on how much companies are spending for this particular space. Now, the second category in this funnel is an emerging here an area. And this is what we call social media analytics. Now, the first segment says, what are customers saying about us and how often? This category actually says, why are they saying it and what should I do? This is sentiment analysis. This is understanding the nuances of people. And this is the early pinnings of the semantic web. This is understanding why do people say things. A few vendors uh, we've been talking to, Crimson Hexagon, uh, NetBase, which I forgot to include on here, Crowd Factory, and I'm seeing the incumbent BI, business intelligent firms, start to make their acquisitions. SaaS made an acquisition in the space. Oracle, SAP, ClickView are starting to come around. So saturated space, ready for later stage investment in brand monitoring. Nascent, early space, just emerging in social analytics. OK, let's take a look at the next class. Now, look at this arrow. It's going from the social networking box at the very top, and it's funneling it down into this area we call aggregation. And aggregation is very important, because what's happened is, well, let me ask you, did you watch the Super Bowl? A lot of the ads were pointing to Facebook.com slash brand. Facebook.com slash GoDaddy. Facebook.com slash uh, Macy's or Coke. So many companies are investing, they're in sending their customers to social networks. And they've created an imbalance with their corporate website. <clears throat> so as a result, what we're going to see this year is companies are going to try to 
integrate social networks on their corporate website. I have data to back that up. So this is an important category. I think this is one of the most important areas to look at for 2011 is aggregation. And it breaks down into three areas. Number one is the social inbox aggregation. So if you watch the Super Bowl right before the halftime show, we saw Salesforce's chatter ads emerge. That's an example of this category happening, where you're integrating all of the social web right back to your inbox. That's what Chatter does, social text, gist, and others. Uh, actually, gist just got acquired yesterday. So we're seeing the space heat up. Next is what we call identity brokers. They're managing the 20 or 30 different social networks, all the profiles, and connecting them back to one system. Now, if you have an IT background, you might have heard of single sign-on. So the, the, what's happening now is it's social sign-on. If you log into a corporate website, now you can use your Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter ID. So these vendors, Gigya and Janrain, are helping to broker all of those relationships like a router. A lot of growth. And then the third category is what we call the aggregation and curation solutions. So Discus, Echo had a, uh, a major event announcing new products last week. And we're seeing a variety of areas. I'm putting my research investments towards this space later this year. So this is an example of that social web being aggregated back to the corporate properties. Now take a look. You'll notice that this is congruent. So aggregation on the left, that's a brother, and it's sister. You can see they fit well together, is publication. And you can see that line points back up to the social networks, creating a loop. So social networks get aggregated down to the left to aggregation. And then the sister technology uh, is the publication tools. And these tools are not married yet. But I know what's going to happen in this space. I'm going to see those two lines merge together. Well, anybody who's created Facebook applications in Facebook has done this particular thing. In fact, there's over 4,000 developers at uh, last year's Facebook conference. There are so many people. And we're already starting to see networks emerge out of that. Uh, Zynga, for example, is a gaming network that was built initially on the Facebook platform. And now it's becoming a standalone company. This next category, I think, is ripe for early stage investment. And this is the social media management systems. Now, if you've heard of CMS or WMS, the software used to run your corporate website, these tools are here to manage your social media accounts. So this spot, SMMS, social media management systems, uh, I coined that category. And I started the list in March last year. Within that span of time, it's been just 10 months. There's 28 vendors already. So that, if I could invest, I can't for obvious reasons as an analyst. Um, I would be looking at this particular area. I see this as a growth area. And next, there's sharing tools, this third category, where you can just share content. There's not a lot of money here. OK, moving down, this particular center part is the software stack. So this is the social platform space. And out of all of these areas, this is the one that is the most mature and has the most recurring software revenues and service revenues. Let's break it down. There's actually uh, six particular ways I break this down. At the top is what's called community platforms. And when I coined that category when I was at Forrester, there was 125 vendors, only about 10 of them matter now for the enterprise. So the ones you might be hearing about often are Lithium and Jive. These are what you call white label social networks, where you can build your own community on the HP site or the Intel site or the Microsoft site. The next category is what we call the collaboration platforms. And the dominant player here, the incumbents, are Microsoft SharePoint, IBM Lotus, SAP, and Oracle. But yet we're seeing new vendors that have emerged in the last few years. Alassian, Social Text, PB Works. The third level is the enterprise microblogging platform. So Socialcast, Yammer, Social Text, Salesforce Chatter, NewsGator have emerged in this space as lightweight deployments, which are often sit on top of the collaboration platforms. Then we saw the blogging platforms. This space is, we haven't seen a lot of activity. There's not a lot to do here. 
Innovation platforms. So imagine a company wants to build better products with their customers in a collaborative way. That's a new thing. Uh, this is starting to emerge. We're seeing Salesforce ideas, user voice, idea storm, uh, and white label versions like Plig emerge. That's innovation software. And then finally, a new entrant into the space is what we call social commerce platforms. So imagine merging e-commerce with social technologies, and the leader in the space is Bizarre Voice. So this particular ca this category, social platforms, has recurring revenues, and I'll, I'll walk you through the deal sizes in a bit. Uh, this is a mature area of the stack. OK, two last pieces. Now notice this is the infrastructure stack. This is the data that's running up and down the software stack. And you can see it's connected. Uh, it's hard to see in the back of the room. It's connected to each of those pieces on the stack. And there's data to be gleaned and vendors in the space that are gathering this information. For example, there are vendors that are merging, about 10 of them, that are trying to get all of your personal information, believe it or not. But guess what? We've been emitting it in public anyway. So they're just collecting it. So Report of, Gist, Clout, Rapleaf, Google, Facebook. They're trying to aggregate all of that personal information about you. And you can use it in a variety of ways for marketing or support or retargeting or advertising. This is very valuable data. In fact, think about it. Let me ask you a question. Who do you think has more information about Generation Y in the United States? Facebook or the United States government? It's probably Facebook. The next area is called social CRM. And this isn't a product. Don't let anybody fool you. Some people are claiming to be social CRM vendors. It's a style of deployment. It basically means gluing together the social data with your existing CRM applications. And the end result of this social CRM is you can predict what customers are going to do. And then the last category on the far right is the social business services play. And it runs up and down the stack because there are services across the entire stack. And there's agencies that have emerged. There's boutique agencies. Then we're seeing uh, new types of um, management consultant firms, such as Dacius Group, which is backed by Austin Ventures. Then we're seeing new incumbents like Ansi Views. These two players are going to try to take on management consulting firms like Deloitte, McKinsey, Accenture, Bain. This is the next set that understands social business. And then we're seeing other types of blogger networks. Now, I've given you a lot of information, so I want to distill it down into five recommendations for you on how I think this, place will, this, this particular space will play out as an analyst. Now, again, to recap, this is a saturated market. There's 150 vendors in, in some of the categories. How will you spend? And we see that the, com the community platforms, it's a stable area, but there's still a lot of particular platforms. This is a really confusing space. Now, the, the trick here is to remember, I want you to invest in companies that have multiple plays in the social business stack. That's why I showed you that, first of all. Anybody who has a single play is a trilobite. I don't think they will survive with only a point play. Because we saw that buyers are going to purchase the entire social business stack. Anybody who has multiple plays in the stack is more likely to be a long-term player. That's my call. So number one, find companies, vendors, that offer solutions to the enterprises. And that includes the services stack that we saw about. So the majority of these vendors are on the software side. But enterprise buyers need services. Services are absolutely required for an enterprise sell. There is no doubt about it. I work with buyers a lot. Most of the early stage software investment, these vendors, don't understand large corporations and don't apply services towards it at all. So you need to be careful how you hedge your bets. Number two, anybody who you invest in, make sure that they have an analytics platform that can help measure how effective the spend was in the particular services. In fact, we saw that as the number one requirement for internal goals for the buyer. They don't know how to measure this amorphous thing. I mean, think about it. If you're, if you're sending people to Facebook, how will you measure success? 
it's actually not easy, because you can't deploy your own web analytics over there. You can only use whatever Facebook tells you. So any investment that you have, make sure that they can help measure whether it's revenue increase, customer satisfaction, advocacy. Number three, I really believe that social media management systems are the emerging market in the software space. It just came out 10 months ago, and I see the market demand will be important for this space. This is a, a software system that will have reoccurring revenues, and as the social web continues to hockey stick, they will have a lock-in as companies use these tools, just like they have a lock-in with WMS and CMS systems 10 years ago. I see this replaying yet again. Number four, aggregation. We saw that website integration is the number one go-to-market priority for 2011. Any of the vendors that help or services that help with integrating social media to the corporate website will be very key this year. And then finally, number five, this is to, uh, to watch and understand carefully. This is an early market, but social CRM. So companies that are trying to glue these particular technologies together will be important. The market's not yet ripe this year for it, but this is to be on your watch list. This is looking further out. And just to remind you, these are companies that can take the social web, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, and connect it to your existing customer databases, like Salesforce or IBM or Oracle or Microsoft, Dynamics, in order to predict what customers will do in store with the mobile devices, screens as you walk in, or even on the website. Imagine if all of these, wherever a customer arrives, they receive instant information that's relevant to them, even if they didn't log in. That's where this is headed, social CRM, predicting customers. But again, it's very early, so this is a place to watch. So my final note to you is before investing, make sure that you understand this changing ecosystem. There's a Cambrian explosion, but hopefully you have clarity today on how it's unfolding. Thank you very much.